Okay, I just got this Moonshine Aging Barrel, five liters from Tombstone Cooperage. They sent me instructions on, on how to get this thing prepared. It's got the tap and the bung and the instructions, so we'll take a look at that. And basically, I think you, you kind of rinse this thing out and then you add boiling water to it for a few hours and then add your, your moonshine to it. This, these barrels are made from barrels from other distilleries and they, they cut the wood down and rechar them. So it's basically aged white oak that has a new char on it. So we'll see what the instructions say. Okay, so I rinsed this out with some hot water and I put the, I rinsed it out a couple of times. They say rinse it out to get the sawdust out. Uh, it doesn't come packaged with the, the tap or the bung. So they don't send it with that tap or spigot uh, because they don't want it to get damaged. Now, and they suggest rinsing it out with hot water uh, a few times to get the sawdust out and then adding near boiling water and you want to do about eight ounces per liter so you can put 40 ounces in there let it set for half an hour and then you turn it rotate it let it set for another half hour and then you add more hot water to, to about halfway and let it set and you just continue doing this uh, until it seals now I've got hot water in there now and it looks like it's sealing already pretty well so I'll keep you guys posted on this but let's take a look here I got the bung on there so let's go ahead and remove the bung so that's got a little cork on there and as you're pouring that water out you can kind of smell, you know, that these barrels were once used, uh, or the wood was at least used as a as a, another barrel at some time, a bigger barrel, because you can s smell the whiskey. So, anyway, we'll keep you posted. Yeah. And this this here is the instructions that they sent. Thanks for purchasing an oak aging maturing barrel from. Tombstone Cooperage. Your barrel isn't just a trinket to set on the shelf, but instead a scaled version of a full-size whiskey barrel made from 100% American oak and charred on the inside just like a full-size barrel. Also just like a full-size barrel, these barrels require some care to obtain the best results. So, got the instructions there. And so basically, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing ready to rock and roll and put some good old moonshine in there. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I've got this thing filled up halfway now with almost boiling water. And the cool thing is, I don't know if you can hear that. It's probably the Part of the curing is uh, the, um, the hot steam trying to escape from the pores and, and the cracks of the barrel. Kind of cool though. Anyway, we're going to let this sit for two hours just like this and then I'll rotate it back the other way. But it looks like it's, to me, it's sealing pretty good. I'm not seeing no water seeping out of this thing at all.
We'll go ahead and follow the steps. Now, one thing I did notice is the spigot handle come off of this when I was pouring that glass earlier. And so I, I didn't get the valve closed. So I reached out to the, the owner of uh, Tombstone Cooperage and uh, waiting for those guys to call me back to see how I should uh, handle doing this. I'm thinking about maybe drilling a small hole into here and right into the stainless steel tubing and then inserting some sort of roll pin or something. That's what I'm thinking about doing, but I'll see what the, those guys recommend.